All right, you guys. So I just wanted to show you guys kind of what I put in my hair to protect my crown. Okay, um, I was telling you guys I've come up with a couple of different ingredients and herbs um, to help with the different attacks, right, that we have been going through. So it's a mixture of uh, quite a few things, okay? I don't want to tell you guys all my ingredients, but I'll like list a few in the description box. Um, but I want to show you guys kind of how I do it, okay? So this here, I just put it on the scalp. And I really, what I do is I massage it in. So a little bit kind of goes a long way because it has different oils, different things to protect your hair. But also, there's things that help your hair grow, okay? And keep your hair moisturized because we kind of need everything that has it all in one, right? So again, a little bit goes a long way, and this is oils and herbs, and also things that some, some things you would find in like some baths that you take to kind of really soak into the skin, right? And all these products here are organic that I put in here, because I wanted it to be safe for my son's hair. So it had to be something that was strong, but n not too strong because it, it sits in your scalp. You don't have to rinse this out. This is something that you can keep in your hair, okay? And I usually put it on the scalp and I kind of massage it in. And again, a lot, you don't need a lot, okay? As you can see, I already kind of did the front of my head and I got a big ass head with a lot of hair and you just massage it in you could do this if you have braids if you have if you're wearing it natural if you're wearing your sewing weaves if you have dreadlocks and again y'all see how I already did half of the front of my head just with that little bit and all you do is you massage it into the scalp okay and then I do the back here Again, a lot goes a long way, you guys. So you don't need much. And as you can see, y'all see my hair? And I'm gonna put in this ponytail. And y'all use anything for my ponytail holder. Just like that, just that simple. Okay, so you can keep these products in your hair. It's safe enough for you can keep it in your hair. If you want to add it to your conditioners, if you want to add it to your products that you put in your hair already, you can do that. Okay, but as you can see, and you can put a nice uh, ponytail. Okay, so this is what I use, you guys, and it's going to protect your hair, help your hair grow, keep your hair moisturized. Okay. So you guys, if y'all want some of this product, if y'all want to try this product that I have, I'm going to put the information down in the description box so you guys can see how I put it in my hair um, and also how you can wear it in your everyday hairstyles or whatever style that you have, okay? And braids, uh, natural, uh, sew-ins, dreadlocks, you can put it in your scalp and you just massage it in. So you just massage it in. If you have a ponytail, you can wear it like this, you guys. <laughs> because y'all see my hair be different ways every day. So you guys can just do it like this, look. Even if you have a ponytail, you massage it in. And you can do this before you go out and about. You can do this before you get your sewing done. You can do it after you get your sewing done. Okay, because it's going to keep your hair hydrated. And a lot, a little bit goes... A long way trust me y'all so no you don't have to overdo it because already y'all see how it just go ahead and seeps into my hair and that's kind of how we do it okay so if you want to protect your crown want your hair to grow and stay hydrated and really want the herbs and natural stuff to seep into your skin to protect your crown I'm telling you guys this is what I use literally all the time so go ahead, I'm going to leave the information in the description box, okay?